Hello students, in this video, I am going to discuss a question from indefinite integration. The question is, we need to find the value of integral of e raised to x sin x plus cos x in bracket x raised to 4 cos cube x minus x sin x plus cos x whole divided by x square cos square x dx. This is a very difficult question of indefinite integration. Now, I am going to give a very interesting approach how to solve this problem. Now, let the given integral as i assuming this term is fx suppose fx is x sin x plus cos x now if this is fx what is f dash x definitely it is x cos x and what about f double dash x what you find is after calculation, you find this as cos x minus x sin x. Now, splitting the bracket terms in two parts, what we find if we calculate this further, we find i as simply write e raised to x sin x this term as fx. And what about this x square cos x plus cos x minus x sin x cos x minus whole divided by x square cos square x dx now replacing x cos x this x x cos x to f dash x so what we find we find this at e raised to fx x into f dash x and what about this term we know that f double dash x is cos x minus x sin x so this is f double dash x whole divided by f dash x whole square dx now break this integration in two parts say i1 is equal to e raised to fx into x e raised to f dash x eh, sorry x into x into f dash x this is our i1 and i2 so what we have done in this step simply splitting the given integral i in two part this is i1 Multiply e raised to x uh, fx x f dash x and this is i2. Now calculating i1 and i2, what we find? What is our i1? i1 is e raised to fx into f dash x x dx. Now I am going to apply product rule of integration, integration by part. Say so this function as v and this is as u. If we calculate this further, we find i1 as u into v dx integral of minus du by dx dx by dx into integral of dx after further calculation we find this i1 as x e raised to fx this value is simply e raised to fx only dx by dx is 1 and this is e raised to fx dx only so this is our i1 now this is i2 from here we have assumed i2 as e raised to fx f double dash x whole divided by f dash x square dx now simply putting the value there now take this as u and this as v again we are applying integration by part here so what we find we find i2 as e raised to fx into 
एफ डबल डा सिक्स बाई एफ डा सिक्स होल स्क्वायर डी एक्स माइनस डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ होल डिवाइड बाई होल स्क्वायर डी एक्स इन टू डी एक्स नाउ अगेन वी आर अप्लाइंग इंटीग्रेशन बाई पार्ट हेयर so what we have assumed we have assumed e raised to fx at u and f double dash x by f dash x square at v so u into v dx minus du by dx into integral of v dx whole dx so if we calculate this further we find i to at e raised to fx and what about integral of this this is minus 1 by f dash x and if you calculate this term what you find you find e raised to fx into f dash x into minus 1 by f dash x into dx so finally what we get i to h minus e raised to fx whole divided by f dash x and this f dash x f dash x will cancel out so this is e raised to fx dx now simply adding i1 and i2 simply adding i1 and i2 what we find i1 is x e raised to fx minus e raised to fx dx so what we find here this integral term if we add i1 and i2 we find we find this x e raised to fx minus e raised to fx f dash x this integral term e raised to fx dx and here e raised to fx dx this term will get cancelled out so finally what we find we find this as e if you take e raised to fx common this is x minus 1 by f dash x plus obviously a constant of integral c putting the value of fx what we have achieved fx as x sin x plus cos x so it is e fx is x sin x plus cos x into x minus 1 by f dash x is x cos x so finally what is the value answer of i answer of h e is to x sin x plus cos x x minus plus so hope you understand the solution of problem this problem thank you and see you in next video